Hello again, everyone. Today, I'm just going to be doing a short unboxing video for some things that I ordered from Taroko Shop on Etsy. And this, for the most part, should be more... Taroko Design, that's our little name label there. Uh, for the most part, this should be more Cosmo Air paper. So Taroko Shop is one of the few shops that are selling bound notebooks with the Cosmo Air paper. I recently did an initial thoughts and review on the paper on the channel, so I will link to that down below. And I'm always looking for new options to get this paper because I, I really like it, spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, and the other thing is it's kind of expensive to get it bound. And um, I wanted to see what other options are out there that may be more accessible for people. Uh, the only downside with this shop is that it is uh, not in the United States. I mean, for, for me, I'm in the United States, so it did have to ship internationally. And I actually can't remember where they're located. Um, but it says on their on their Etsy shop, and I will link to their Etsy shop below. But it did take a little while to come because of that. I think I got free shipping, though, because the, if you order above a certain amount, you get free shipping. So I'm just taking these out of the box and out of these little cushion containers. It's nice that they fit them so well in that little box. Okay, and as you can see, I got some sticky notes. So these are sticky notes made out of craft paper. They don't have a lot of variety on their shop, but the things that they do have tend to be pretty good quality. And um, I've gotten Tomoe River paper inserts from them before. It's actually what I'm using in my uh, fountain pen swatch book for all of my uh, fountain pen ink swatches. I'm using a Taroko shop notebook which works really well. It's the old Tomoe River paper. I don't know what the status of their Tomoe River paper is that they sell there. So I, I couldn't tell you. you, you would have to look into that. But uh, so this first thing that I got is craft paper sticky notes. And it's a little bit, it's just like regular craft paper. I am wondering if it will work okay with fountain pens. It didn't really indicate, um, Oh boy, I'm having trouble here. I'm gonna have to use that little thing again. I'm gonna try and go down the side very carefully. I know sometimes I do things like that and I say I'm gonna do it really carefully and then people um, <laughs> think that I'm just doing things in a very haphazard way <laughs> when they see me do it. I mean, maybe it's just because I know what I'm doing but you might not know what I'm doing. I don't know. <laughs> As me filming, I can I can promise you it's not as scary as it looks with a little knife there. Okay, I'm gonna put that packaging down on the floor for now and then I'll pick it up. So I wanted to open it so that I could show you the thickness of the paper. It's pretty thin craft paper. And let me go ahead and get a fountain pen out. Uh, I'm not gonna get the, the gusher that I have over there, the... Um, uh, the music nib, but I will try this one, which is a Y Studio pen, and we'll see. We'll see. Y Studio. It actually feels quite nice to write with it on there. Um, and then let's see. So it doesn't look like there's a lot of bleed through, if any. Let me go lower, so because that was on the um, adhesive up there. Um, and this this ink is Robert Oster. soda pop blue which doesn't look so soda pop here on the um, craft paper but um, so there's a little bit of bleed through I'm not sure if this would really be I mean with finer nibs it might be better uh, it's not too bad it's not too bad for regular paper and, um, and then I have a very fine this is what a high tech slim knock that's gonna have no problem I can tell you right now yep no problem at all doesn't bleed through and then I have a sign pen one of these little petite sign pens from pilot let's see pilot petite 2 
and I, yeah. So I was gonna say, I bet that's bleeding through. So I wouldn't do, I wouldn't use sign pens or felt tip pens on here because they're probably going to bleed through. But it looks like um, finer nibbed fountain pens would be okay. You know, it probably depends on your ink as well. But, uh, you know, certainly the little slim gel pen is gonna work no problem. So that I'll just put off to the side. But I did wanna test that out for you because it was kind of a new thing that I hadn't really seen. Um, and craft paper varies in thickness and some of them will be a little bit more resilient to inks and that sort of thing than others. Okay, I'm gonna put my little cutting device back. Oh, geez. This is always happening. Things fall all over the place. Just ignore that. <laughs> so, oh, and it looks like they're so excited about Cosmo Air Light paper being carried at their shop that they made some stickers <laughs> for it. That's kind of cute. Uh, so, so we've got these stickers with a little ink bottle with some mountains on it. Oh, these are actually quite cute. So I'll definitely keep those. And then what's this? This is a little postcard. Um, let's see. It's just a drawing of, it says Kobe color map. Oh, from Kobe ink. Oh, okay. So it tells you where the different inks are from. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Very cool. I'll definitely keep that. And then the rest of this is Cosmo Air Light paper. So, um, oh, and then I got... Hmm, what, what else did I, I think this was, this is like what a big map. You're, I'm probably, I'm babbling. Um, I'm gonna open this in a minute. <laughs> Let me just say that. But these three are the Cosmo Air uh, light paper. So this is a larger bound notebook. And then these are essentially inserts. This was an A5, A5 Slim, which would fit into a standard um, traveler's notebook, also called Narrow. Okay, having a hard time getting this out of here today. So this is what they're calling the Odyssey Notebook with Cosmo Air Light. It doesn't actually say Cosmo Air on the front. It says fountain pen type 02, which is Cosmo Air Light, yes. And uh, so the bound notebook is actually very nice. It's, uh, it's not gigantic, but it does have quite a few pages. I can't remember the exact page count, although it looks like these pages are numbered. So I probably can tell you where are we at the end. So it's 183 pages. And then one of the nice things about these notebooks is they have little spots for ink swatches in the back. Uh, there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, four pages of, of ink swatch pages in the back. And then it has, you know, you can put your name, address, and telephone number in the front, and then it has a place for an index. And then the rest is just dot grid, but they're numbered, which is really nice that it's numbered. And then I will show you these. And obviously the inserts are gonna be less expensive than the bound book, but I didn't find this these to be outrageous in price. And then this is just dot grid, plain old dot grid throughout the rest. I think they had a variety of different types, but I cannot remember. Um, I Like I said, I'll put a link down below to the Etsy shop so that you can take a look for yourself. And these are really good if you just wanna try the Cosmo Air Light paper and you don't know if you wanna get a big bound book. Uh, but this is essentially the same as that other, just in a slim size. So there's those. Um, and I already, I'm gonna put a link down below to the recent um, sort of initial review that I did on this paper. I may have already mentioned that, but I wanted to say that again. And then before I go, I'm gonna open this thing, which I can't remember what it is it's because I have ordered it so long ago. And it did take a little while. Shipping does take some time these days. And I th if I'm rem remembering correctly, I got this to fill out my order so that I could get free shipping. And it's essentially like a giant uh, vintage map. Yeah, there you go. I got it as to use as collage paper. I mean, it's so big, it's not gonna fit on the whole thing. Um, it's a little bit slick. 
though, so I'm wondering how well it will actually work as collage paper, but it was so inexpensive and I, I was looking for just a small thing to get me over to free shipping, so that's why I did that. All right, and I think they only have one color of cover, like this uh, this green color, and then for the, the bound notebooks, it's this black color, uh, but it actually looks pretty nicely bound. The book that I have from them already, which I would assume is similarly bound, uh, has lasted a really long time, and no pages have started to come out after you know opening and closing it quite frequently. So I think their their binding on these are pretty good. These inserts just are stapled; they're not stitched, if that matters to you. But again, it might be a nice way to try out the Cosmo Air light paper without having to get a full notebook. Or you know, if you just use thinner inserts more frequently than a fatter notebook, this would be a good way to try that paper that way as well. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future video videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Feel free to ask questions down below and I will answer when I can. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much, bye.